So the question is accelerating. It sounds like you're just pushing the gas pedal and making some plant go faster. We're not making a given plant go faster, we're making the generations of a plant go faster. So people have figured out ways to accelerate the generation process, and in fact that is now known as the, by the buzzword as speed breeding. And so you're not raising these plants to be big, beautiful, you know, uh, very productive plants, you're growing plants to simply get them through the generational process. So you grow them in very small little pots, you give them an excessive amount of light, you kind of starve them, and you put growth regulators on them, and you just want them to get from seed to seed as quickly as you can. So with speed breeding, you can get probably three to four generations per year. In barley, we can speed breed by selfing. In hemp, we need to see how many generations of selfing we can tolerate. If you self-pollinate them or you make very close matings, you're likely to get inbreeding depression. Inbreeding depression then has uh, a flip side which is really positive and the flip side is heterosis or hybrid vigor. So that's one way to accelerate. Double haploids take you from the F1 generation, if that's where you start, to F infinity in a single bound. So that is like hyper acceleration. It is so clean, you're 100% homozygous by the end of the process. The double haploid production method, um, we basically want to take a plant that is diploid and then make it haploid so we would eliminate one of the chromosome sets from the father or from the mother. So the first step is bringing a normal diploid plant to a haploid plant with just one set of chromosomes. And then what we do is what we call chromosome doubling. So we double that one set of chromosomes so that the second set is identical to the first one. So that's what's, what's called the double haploid. It would take you at least two years to go from a diverse plant to a pure line. With double haploids, you can go from a diverse plant to a pure line in just one generation, a few months. And so this speeds up the process compared to conventional breeding. In hemp, the idea is not to have double haploid as the cultivars. The idea is to have hybrids and sell the hybrid seed. So we would have to find a very good double haploid, another one, and cross those two parents. And then the seed coming out of that would be a mix between uh, those two pure lines that would be the hybrid seed that would be sold. And when you plant that in your field, the plants are all going to be the same. That's really a key in agriculture because you don't want plants to be heterogeneous. You want when you're harvest, when you're passing your combine, you want the plants to be all of the same height. It's just important to scale everything up. And I should point out that all of our data and our findings are open source, and so we'll be sharing all of these results with the scientific community. Anybody can pick this up and then accelerate uh, the generation time from making a cross to getting the final product.